For my overhead mics in this drum session, I'm going to be using a pair of AEA R44s, which is a remake of a very old ribbon microphone made by RCA, and the Coles 4038, which is also a ribbon microphone. Um, the reason why I like ribbon microphones as my overheads is because it treats the cymbals in a very uh, delicate way and it smooths out the top end. Ribbons have a nice roll off on the top. So uh, when I'm capturing any sound, I want to make sure that I'm picking a mic that will enforce the final product that I'm hearing in my head. So ribbons will smooth out that top end because cymbals can be harsh, they can be abrasive, and if your drummer hits rather hard, it's downright offensive. Uh, the U87 is a great option for uh, a overhead mic as well as the Neumann KM44s, uh, which they have a smaller footprint, but uh, because they're also a condenser mic, it, it will capture uh, a nice full robust drum kit as well as the top end of the cymbals. Um, just make sure that you watch your placement. The closer to the cymbals you get with any overhead will uh, obviously give you a louder cymbal sound. Now, cymbals uh, will cloud your drum mix and um, personally, I like them as accents and they're not the main attraction. So experiment with placement. Uh, for condenser mics that are a large diaphragm like the U87, uh, you want to make sure you have a good amount of distance between the, the symbol and the capsule uh, of the microphone. And make sure that you point the capsule where you want that mic to pick up. So if it's over one symbol or the left side of the kit, put your, imagine uh, an imaginary line going through the center of the capsule to the source. And that's the trick to... Uh, placing overheads. Now, I know I always put my, my, my friend last, but not this video. We're going to be second to last. So if you can't find any of these microphones, you can always use an SM57. Uh, for live sound, they work great. Um, they're really good at picking up uh, loud things, but uh, portraying them with a nice amount of definition. So SF, SM57, Azure Overhead Mics, you can't go wrong. The Tom mics that I'm using in this session, the AKG 414s, are also a great option for overheads because of the robust uh, sort of body that they have. So they will also do a nice thing with the, with the cymbals, kind of a smooth top end, but will give you a good body to your kit. Um, don't chase down gear when, when working with any overhead mic. Placement. I feel with overheads is much more important than mic choice. Always have an idea in your head how you would like the cymbals to sound, how you would like the stereo image of the, of the kit to sound, and then experiment with placement until what you are recording matches what you hear in your head.